If you have breakfast out, go ahead and throw it away. All right, guys, everybody, eyes up here. I need to see eyes ready. I need to see you ready to get started this morning. If you have your pencil in your hands, I need you to put it in your pencil holder. I need your eyes up here. We're not going to play in our desk. We're not going to be playing with our stuff. All right, so let's get started this morning. Everybody grab your mixing bowl and your spoon. Mix it up, fix it up. Listen carefully. Mix it up, fix it up. Say it after me. Everybody say plain. Plain. Now say plain without the mmm. Plain. Good. Everybody say clash. Clash. Now say clash without the ooh. Clash. Oh, let's try it on again. Everybody say clash. Clash. Now say clash without the ooh. Cash. Cash. Very good. Everybody say worse. Worse. Now say worse without the s. Worse. Good. Everybody say trend. Trend. Now say trend without the r. Let's try one again. Everybody say trend. Trend. Now say trend without the r. Tend. Tend. Everybody say line. Line. I want you to change the I sound to the O sound. Whoa. Very good. Everybody say snow. Snow. Now say snow without the mm. Snow. 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 Let's try one again. Everybody say so. So. Now say so without the mm. Oh, hold on. Let's redo that one. Everybody say snow. Snow. Now say snow without the mm. Snow. So. There we go. Everybody say cloud. Cloud. Now say cloud without the k. Cloud. 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 Uh, pause. Pause your mixing. We have the word cloud. I want you to say it without a k. What would the word be? Cloud. Loud. Thank you. All right, you can get your bowls back. Everybody say break. Break. Now say break without the r. Break. Bake. 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 Guys, be sure you're using your listening ears, not just guessing. Be sure you're listening for those sounds. Everybody say glass. 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 Change the g to a k. Cast. Class. 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 Some of you guys took out your wool sound. You're not taking any sounds out. You're just changing. All right, everybody say spoon. 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 Now say spoon without the p. Soon. Thank you. All right, you may put your bowls and your spoons down. All right, everybody listen carefully. Everybody say rice. Rice. Change the s to a t. Right. Right. Everybody say lug. Lug. Change the g to a sh. Lush. Lush. Everybody say shade. Shade. Change the d to a k. Shake. Shake. Everybody say pass. Change the s to a f. Path. Path. Everybody say phone. Phone. Change the m to a k. Phone. Oh, we're going to try that one again. I want everybody to listen really carefully. Everybody say phone. Phone. Change the m to a k. Folk. Folk. All right, everybody say woke. Woke. Change the k to a v. Good. Everybody say rug. Rug. Change the g to a n. Mm. Remember, we're ch on that one, we're changing the ending sounds. Let's try that one again. Oh, eyes up here. We're going to do that one again. Everybody say rug. Rug. Change the g to a n. Mm. Run. Yes, we changed the ending sound that time. Everybody say elf. Elf. Change the f to a s. Remember what sound we talked about we're changing. I'm hearing some people. Let's try it again. Oh, eyes up here. Voice is off. All right, everybody say elf. Elf. Change the f to us. Else. Else, yes. So you've got to listen. Sometimes you guys, when you hear those ending sounds, you want to change the beginning sounds. You've got to listen to see what sound we're changing. All right, I'm going to give you some mixed up words. If you think you can figure it out, raise your hand. I don't want you to blurt it. Me, the sand. Me, the sand. Think about it. If you think you've got it figured out, raise your hand. Me, the sand. Me, the sand. Emily? Me and sand. <coughs> mm -mm. Remember, I'm mixing my first sounds. 
I'm mixing the m and the s. What do you think, Philip? Seesaw. What? Seesaw. Not quite. Me, the sand. Remember, I'm mixing up the m and the s. Xavier? Salmon? Mm -mm. Really think about those first sounds. Me, the sand. And think about what you would get if you swapped those. Marcel? See the man. Very good. We mixed up our m and our s. So me the sand is going to be see the man. All right. Good job working on your sounds this morning. Let's talk about what we're going to do for the rest of our lesson. So we're going to talk about our new spelling words that we're going to have for this week. We're going to talk about a new spelling pattern and some new spelling trees, and then we're going to read the second part of Soccer Twins. So that's what we're going to be doing this morning. All right, Kaden. I don't need you blurting out, please. So our spelling words are a little bit different this week because when we take the spelling test, I'm not going to tell you your spelling words. I'm going to tell you a synonym for the word or an antonym for the word, and then you have to write the word. So let's review what those mean. Who knows what an antonym is? We practiced this a little bit before. Easton, do you remember what an antonym is? It is basically the same thing. It's the opposite. Yes, it's the opposite. So raise your hand if you can tell me an antonym for hot. What's an antonym for hot, Ariella? Very good. All right, so we mostly talked about antonyms. We talked just a little bit about synonyms. Does anyone remember what a synonym is? What is a synonym, Ariana? The same. So who can tell me a synonym for tired? Does anyone think they know a synonym for tired, Holly? Sleepy. So those words mean the same thing or almost the same thing. So we're going to talk about the antonyms and the synonyms I'm going to give you, and then we're going to talk about the spelling patterns for our spelling words. So we're going to do antonyms first. So your spelling word is going to be an antonym for this word. So can anybody think of an antonym for the word over? Can anyone think of an antonym for the word over? Fill up. Under. under. So your first spelling word is going to be under. So let's talk about the spelling patterns for that word. Who can raise your hand and tell me the first sound you hear in under? KDA? Uh. uh. All right, everybody tell me what you hear next. Mm. What do you hear next? Uh, duh. Er. What letters say er? Very good. There's our first spelling word. Next spelling word is going to be an antonym for silence. Does anyone think they know what would be an antonym for silence? What do you think, uh, Philip? Quiet. Quiet? Well, with silence and quiet, are those opposites or are those the same? So if you're silent, are you quiet? Those would be synonyms because they're the same. Let's think of something that's an antonym or opposite. What would be an antonym for silence, Alyssa? Not silent. <coughs> well, not silent, but let's think of a word to describe not silent. Loud's a good one, but that's not our word. Our word starts with a n sound. Can anybody think of a word that would be an antonym for silence that starts with the n sound? Ariella? Well, noisy would be correct, but we're not going to do noisy. We're just going to do noise. So our next word is noise. Everybody tell me the first sound you hear in noise. Everybody tell me the next sound. Oi. oi. Now let's think about that. Does anyone remember how to spell oi? It's been a little while since we've talked about this one. Oh, I'm looking for a raised hand. Caleb? Oh, I. Oh, I. Very good. So we've got n. Oi. Now, what do we hear at the end? S -E. Now, Natalie makes a good point. We hear s, but we know there's more than one way to spell the s sound. So, Natalie, how did you say we're going to spell it in this word? S. And she's correct. S E. Emily, I need you to put that in your desk before it's going to be mine, please. All right, there's our next word. N Oi. S noise. All right, next we're looking for an antonym for clothes. So who knows an antonym for clothes? What do you think, Amara? Shut. Okay, well, clothes and shut, would those be the same, or would they be opposites? Oh. What? 
Open. Open would be an antonym for close because it's the opposite. <coughs> What's the first sound in open? O. Oh. Oh. So we've got a long O sound. What's the next sound? Oh, don't tell me the name of the letter. Tell me the sound. What's next? A. A. Mm. Remember, guys, when we're sounding out the sounds, I want to hear the sound, not the name of the letter. So let's sound this out. O. P. N. Open. And our O here, it says the long O sound because this word has two syllables. And it's at the end of the first syllable. O. Pen, so it makes the long O sound. All right, next word, we're looking for an antonym for scared. So if you're not scared, what would be a word we could use to describe you? You can think about our story about our little girl in the legend of Blue Bonnet. We used a word to describe her. KDA, what do you think? Brave, very good. So we're going to sound out brave. What's the first sound you hear in brave? Oh, don't get ahead of me. What's the first sound? Ba. Ba. What's next? Rrr. What's next? A. What's next? Ba. Now, this word in brave, the A is a long A. So do we need something on the end here? A magic E. A magic E. Very good. So we have a long A with a magic E in this word. Let's sound that out. Ba. Rrr. A. V. Brave. All right, you're going to have one more antonym. Who can tell me an antonym for ugly? Who can tell me an antonym for ugly, Natalie? Cute. Cute, very good. All right, let's sound this one out. What's the first sound you hear in cute? And we know that the k sound can be spelled different ways. What letter do we use in cute? C. All right, what's the next sound? Alright, I'm hearing some different answers. I want you to raise your hand. What do you think the next sound is in cute? Holly? You? Okay. Does anyone disagree with Holly? Think something else? So everybody thinks it's you, Xavier? Um, no. Alright, sit on your bottom for me, please. I agree, it is you. You, what do we hear next? Now you says its name here. It's a long you. So we need a magic E. And we're actually going to be talking about that long U sound today. All right, let's sound it out. K cute. Cute. So those are all of our antonyms. Everybody say antonyms. Antonyms. Is antonyms opposite or the same? They're opposite. Opposites. So for the other half of our spelling list, I'm going to give you synonyms. And your spelling word will be the synonym. Now, what does synonyms mean? Same. same or almost the same. So who knows a synonym for the word minus? What would be a synonym for the word minus, Alyssa? Take away. Okay, take away, minus, but I'm thinking of a different word. I'm thinking of a math word that starts with a s sound. Or it starts with a mm sound. So we've got subtract. So what would be... A synonym for subtract. I might have said that one backwards. Kaden? Model? Not model. Easton? Minus. Minus. There we go. All right, guys, let's sound this one out. What's the first sound you hear in minus? Mm. I. Mm. I. Uh, let's think about the ending of that. Mm. I. Us. What's the first sound in us? All right, so we've got another two-syllable word. Now, uh, I need eyes up here. Focus on me. Thank you. This is a two-syllable word. My nuts. This I is at the end of the first syllable. So what does it say? I. I. It says its name. Very good. My nuts. All right, next word is going to be a synonym for the word final. Who can tell me a synonym for the word final? Amara? <coughs> okay, but not quite what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a synonym that starts with a l sound. 
So a synonym for final that starts with the lul sound. Ariana? Last. Last. Very good. Let's sound that out. Good. Lul ast. Last. Now this one's a little bit harder. I'm going to have to help you guys with this one, but I want to give you a chance first. Can anybody think of a synonym for the word rival? Rival. So like if you're playing a different team in basketball, you might say they're your rivals. Does anyone have a synonym for rival? What do you think, Xavier? Okay, that's a pretty good answer, but that's not what I'm looking for. Does anyone have another idea, a synonym for rival? What do you think, Easton? Team. Okay, well, the, your te the team could be your rival, but those don't really mean the same thing. I'm going to help you guys out with this one because this isn't a word we use a lot. Everybody say foe. Foe. So foe is like another word for a rival or for an enemy. So let's sound that out. What's the first sound you hear in foe? What's the next sound? Now, raise your hand. Oh, raise your hand if you think you know what spelling we would use for the O sound at the end of this word. What do you think, Ariella? O E. O E. Perfect, because it comes at the end of the word. O. O. All right, who can think of a synonym for the word bandit? Who can think of a synonym for the word bandit? Think back to our cat bandit story that we read about. Kaden, you know a synonym for bandit? What? Taking? Well, a bandit does take stuff, but that's not a synonym for the word bandit. Caleb? Robber. Robber. Very good. Alright, let's sound this out. What's the first sound in robber? Oh, I heard somebody tell me a double B. And what's the sound at the end? Oh, uh, pause. Eyes up here. Who can raise your hand and tell me what letters make the er sound? Natalie? E R. E R. All right, so in this one, when you spell it, you have to remember double B. Let's sound this out together. R, A, B, R. Robber. All right, one more. I need a synonym for street. Who can tell me a synonym for street? Xavier? <coughs> What's a word that means the same thing as street? Starts with a r sound. Road. Very good. Road. All right, let's all sound that out together. What's the first sound? R What's next? Now, I didn't write the O sound because I want you guys to tell me how you think we would spell the O sound in road. What do you think, KDA? O A. O A, very good. In road, O A says the O sound. Let's all sound that out together. R O D. Road. Very good. Now, is it robe or is it road? Road. Road, yes. No, you may put it in your desk. All right, so we're going to talk about some spelling patterns for our long U sound today. So I'm going to write a word up here on the board. I want everybody to read this word in your head. Don't read it out loud. Read it in your head. Who can raise your hand and tell me what does the U say in this word? What does the U say in this word, Holly? Ah, uh, very good. Everybody in a whisper voice, what is this word? Oh, uh, let's try that in our whisper voice. So this is a short U sound. It's our regular spelling for the short U, and it says uh. Who can tell me some words that have an uh sound in them? Who can tell me some words with an uh sound in them? Fill up. But we just did that one. Let's think of some other ones. Holly? Up, uh, very good. All right, who can tell me another word with a uh sound? Easton? Such. Such, good. All 
All right, who can tell me another word with a uh sound, Levi? Fun. Fun, good. All right, let's see, Ariella? Subtract. Subtract, good. All right, just a couple more examples of the word that has a U that says uh. Caleb? Watch. La aunt. And let's see, someone from this side of the room, Natalie? Us. Us, very good. So what does the U say in all these words? Uh. uh. So look at our new spelling trees. So we have a tree that says uh, and then we're going to talk about the long U sound U in a few minutes. Look at our branches on our uh tree. How do we spell uh every single time? Raise your hand if you want to tell me. How do we spell uh every single time? Ariana? Uh. How do we spell it? Look at our spellings on our branches on our tree. What do we use to spell the uh sound? What letter? U. Just a U. That's the only way we can spell that sound. So I'm going to call some quiet people to come and put some of these words up on our tree. Now make sure you're putting it on our bottom tree because that is our tree for the uh sound. All of these words have the uh sound. So I'm going to put them up here. We're going to read them together and then I'll call on somebody to go hang it on our tree. When I count to three, you're going to read this word in your whisper voice. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very good. Go hang this on our tree for the uh sound, Caleb. One, two, three. Good. Go hang this on our uh tree for me, Emily. One, two, three. Very good. Go hang this on the uh tree for me, Easton. Now, does it matter what branch you're on? They're hanging it on on that tree? No. Who can tell me why it doesn't matter? Why does it not matter what branch they're putting it on on that tree, Holly? They all say the same sound. And what is that sound? Uh, uh. Very good. One, two, three. Good. Go hang this on the tree. Can we All right, so now that we've talked about our spelling for uh, we're going to talk about the long spelling for you. I'm going to write a word on the board. I want you to read it in your head. I don't want you to read it out loud. Read that word in your head. When you've read it, touch your nose so I know you're ready. When I count to three, we're going to whisper that word. Marcel, say it for me, please. All the way up. Thank you. One, two, three. Music. All right. What sound does the U make in music? U, m, U, s, ik, music. So this is the long U sound. So in music, the U doesn't say uh. What does it say? U. U. So we've already talked about some one spelling for U. Does anybody remember the U spelling that we already talked about? It was in one of your spelling words this week. It's the spelling that's in cute. Katie A? Not you, you magic e. Thank you for correcting yourself. So we've already talked about you, magic e. That's one way to spell the u sound. 
Another way to spell the U sound is U-E. Now, guys, is there a difference between U magic-y and U-E? Yes. Yes, U magic-y or magic-y goes at the end of the word. And you've got letters between the U and the E. And U-E, they're right next to each other. And then we've got the U spelling, just a U. So just like in the word music, sometimes just a U says the U sound. And then we might come up with some odd ducks. So I need some people who want to share a word that has the U sound in it. Who would like to share a word with the U sound? Amara? Cute. Cute. And where would that go on our chart, Amara? U-E. U-E? U-Magic-E. U-Magic-E, yes, because we have a letter between U and E. We have a T there. All right, so I'm going to do my horseshoe. All right, who can tell me another word with the U sound? Let's see, KDW? Up. Well, up, we just talked about, has the uh sound. We're talking about the long U sound right now. Ariella? Bucket. That one, bucket. Does that say uh or does that say you? So remember, we're talking about long U. Amara? Confused. All right. And that is spelled with a U. Confused. All right, Caden? What? Mute. Mute? Good. Caden, what category do you think mute would go in? Very good. M U T. And I've got to do my horseshoe for my U magic E. All right, anybody else have some? KDA? Flute. Very good. What category do you think flute's going to go in? Very good. All right. Easton? Suit. Suit. All right. And suit is actually going to be an odd duck. All right, who can tell me another one? Alyssa? Use. What? Use. Use? Like you're going to use something, okay. So that has a U magic E. All right, a couple more. Emily? Unicycle, okay, unicycle. And that is spelled with just a U. All right, so what category do we not have any words in yet? U-E. U-E. So let's talk about some words that could go in this U-E category. Everybody say Q. Q. So that would be spelled C U. E. Everybody say value. Value. Everybody say rescue. Now look at all these words we just added with U-E. Where in the word is the U-E? They're all at the end. So guys, when you see this, U-E spelling, it's usually going to come at the end of a word. Okay. All right, so we've got several words up here. I'm going to add a couple more to just our U. So sometimes the U sound can be spelled just a U. Let's add a couple more words here. Everybody say human. Human. U. Men. Everybody say unit. Unit. All right, so we've got several for you, Magic E. We've got some UEs, we've got some U's, and then we got one odd duck that Easton promised up here. So we're going to add some of these words to our tree. Now look at this tree. What tree, what sound does this tree make? U. 
U. Look at our branches. What is our longest branch? Just a U. What does it mean if it's the longest branch? Does anybody remember why that branch is longer, Easton? It's because it's a used word. Yes, it's our most common spelling. Let's look at our next longest branch. What is the next longest branch? U magic E. Now, is it U E? No. No, U magic E. That would be the next most common spelling. What's our next branch up here? U E. -E. And then our shortest branch is our odd ducks. So we're going to put some of these on our tree. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to read them together. And then I'll call somebody sitting nicely to go hang it on the tree. But this time, does it matter what branch you're hanging it on? No. Yes. Yes, because we have different spellings for the U sound. Perfect, the UE branch. One, two, three. Very good. Go hang unit on the correct branch for me, Alyssa.
No, I've got it. Thank you. All right. So we're in the blank word sheet. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to read these words to get the moment of What is it, Holly? I think you had it. Just say it a little louder. Accused. All right, accused. Holly, if I took the D off, what would be the spelling pattern for the U sound? You magic E. And number 10, read this last word. 
Mu and what's the spelling pattern, Easton? You, you magic. What did you guys notice about the spelling pattern in all the words in this box, Ariana? They're all you magic -y. Very good. All right, we're going to do a couple of these together. Read the sentence on number one for me, Xavier. Blank. Oh, blank. But if you think you know what word is going to go there, go ahead and tell me, Xavier. Mute. Very good. Everybody write mute in your blank. And I want you to horseshoe you magic E and mute. All right, I like the way Holly's finished. She's got her finger on her nose to let me know, and she's ready to go to number two. You just do your best. We've been practicing this, so it's fun. All right, number two, read it for me, Katie A. All right, if there is a gas leak, you will smell blank. Does anybody think they know what would go in that blank? What do you think, Emily? Fumes, very good. Write it and horseshoe your U magic E. Yes, you can mark it off. That's a good idea. Mark it out on your word bank when we use it. Yes. All right, read number three for me, Easton. All right, who thinks they know what would go in that blank? Now, this one's a little trickier. In math class, we learn how to, what do you think, Xavier? Compute, very good, and that just means like to solve a problem. So everybody write compute and horseshoe your U and your magic E. And then mark it off on your word box because you guys are going to finish this by yourself in a few minutes. We're going to do one more together. Read number four for me, Ariana. <coughs> All right, who thinks they know what could go in that blank? <laughs> the power went off in the blank storm. I'm looking for someone that's not answered. Philip? Huge. huge. Very good. Go ahead, write huge. And horseshoe your U and your magic E. And then mark it off on your word box. After you have that done, I want you to slide it to the corner of your desk. You're going to finish it later. So just push it over to the corner of your desk and we'll come back to it. All right, so we're going to switch gears a little bit now that you've got that on there. We're going to go back to our story about the soccer twins. So if you remember, it's been a few days, but we read the Soccer Twins Part 1. And we made a chart with everything we know, want to know, and what we have learned so far about soccer. So we said we know you kick a ball. Someone said they know there's a goalie. We know you have to run. We know it can be dangerous. We know that it's a sport. We know that you have to chase the ball. We wanted to know when is it invented, what did they make the ball out of, what do the players do besides the goalie. And someone learned that there was a goalie, so someone didn't know about the goalie until we read our story. So today we're going to read some more and we're going to find out what happened to these soccer twins. We're going to have a word in this story that you may not know. Let's look at this word. It's a tricky word because of the first sound. Does anyone think they know what that word says? Easton? England. England. And Easton, why would I have capitalized that word? Because it's a, a name 
It's the name of a place. Very good. It's the name of a country. And this is a tricky word because of the first sound. What does E normally say? Eh. Uh. Uh. What does it say in this word? E. All right. So England, that's what makes it a tricky spelling because your E doesn't say eh. Uh. It says E. Look up at our map up there. England is inside that red country that says Europe. Remember, we live in the yellow country with the heart. So England would be across the ocean from us. So you're going to see that word today in our story. Who can raise your hand and tell me, is England a proper noun or a common noun? KDA? No, England is a proper noun because it says what place it is. Yes, it's a name, so it's proper. Everybody show me proper. We need a big capital letter for proper. Everybody show me how we would do a common lowercase. But we know England would be proper. Very good. All right, so in our story today, this is going to be the second part, and it's a story about Pat and Les and their soccer game. And remember, the narrator is telling the story. What's our narrator's name? Uh, Ariana? Mark Deeds. Mark Deeds. So Mark Deeds is telling us this story. Also, when you read today, I want you to remember that your pictures have captions underneath them. Should we just ignore our captions? No. No, they give us important information about what's happening in that picture. Natalie, where's that supposed to be? So when you read your story today, make sure you and your partner are also taking time to read the captions. Now before we get started, let's look at a few words we're going to see. Alright, we're going to see the suffix ed in our story today. And ed sometimes can say three different sounds. Who remembers the sounds ed can say? Emily? D or F. Not just eh, ed. So it can say t, d, or ed. So let's look at some words with the ed at the end. Who thinks they can read this first word? Who can read that first word for me? Katie A? Tugged. What does the D say in tugged? D, tug, d. What does the D say? D. d. All right, let's look at this next word. <coughs> Who thinks they can read that word for me? I want to see several volunteers or else I'm going to pick somebody. I don't want to see the same people every time. What do you think, Alyssa? Looked. Looked. Very good. What does the ED say in looked? Looked. Very good. Have a seat. And one more ED word that we're going to talk about. Raise your hand if you would like to be my reader. Read that one for me, Holly. Played. What does the ED say in played? D. D. Very good. All right, played. Let's look at a multi-syllable word that we're going to see. Now, this is going to be kind of a big word. Kaden, can you pick that up for me, please? Thank you. When our lesson is finished, we took one before we started. We'll go in a few minutes. All right, who thinks they can read this word for us? Now, this is a multi-syllable word. It actually has three syllables. Easton, do you think you can read that for us? Goalkeeper. Very good. Goalkeeper. Goalkeeper. Who knows what a goalkeeper is? It's another word for something. What's it another word for? What's a goalkeeper, Xavier? A goalie. A goalie, yes. It's a goalie is short for goalkeeper. So you're going to see that in your story today as well. All right, so while you're reading, I want you to think of something we can add to the learn part of our chart. And I want you to really think about something it tells you in the story. So some information from the story that helps you learn something about soccer that we can add onto the learn part of our chart. So you're going to read with a partner. Let's talk about our partner reading expectations. For what voice level should you be on? One and a half. One and a half. You don't have to whisper, but the people next to you shouldn't be able to hear you and I should not be able to hear you at my table. 
All right, be a good listener. If your partner is having trouble reading, should you help them? Yes. Can you help them if you're not being a good listener? No. No. Talk about it. So talk about how to pronounce those words correctly. Talk about something that you learned about soccer. Everybody stay seated. Should you be coming up to my table? No. Should you be coming up to another group? No. And make sure you're kind and respectful to your partner or your partners. Yes, Caleb? I remember the another thing about soccer that you cannot move your hands. Yes, so that is true. All right, this weather is killing me, guys. All right, so you are going to follow your rules. You and your partner are going to read one page at a time. So if Marcel is partnered with Ariella, he reads a page, she reads a page. He reads a page, she reads a page. Make sure you're reading your captions as well. And make sure you're talking about something that you learned about soccer. All right, so also, when you're finished, you'll come back to your seat. You're not going to do this with your partner. You're going to do it at your seat. You're going to finish this worksheet filling in the blanks. If you finish and you still have extra time, guys, if you're really reading through this and you're really doing your best, you shouldn't have a lot of extra time. If you do, turn it on the back. On the first five, you're going to write an antonym for the word. What does antonym mean? Opposite. Opposite. On the bottom five, you're going to write a synonym for the word. What does synonym mean? Same. Same. Very good. And if you happen to finish all of those things, you may get out your book and read when you're done. But I really don't think you're going to be able to make it through all of that. Because we're going to come back together after we read and we're going to add to our chart and we're going to answer some questions. Also, when you're reading today, I want you to think about something you learned about soccer. I also want you to look for some ED words. Think about what sound ED makes in those words. So if you see an ED word today, I want you to point it out to your partner. So I'm going to put our partner map up here. You and your partner are going to quickly grab a book, and you're going to go to your spot. I think I have a couple groups of three today. So if you're in a group of three, then you can all share the pages. If someone in your group really has a hard time reading, and you really need to help them on their page, that's fine. So you can help with their work if they need it. Leave that on this desk. And then you're going to come back, and you're going to work on this until we talk about our chart. If you're at my table, you're going to grab a book and you're going to come to my table. All right, so I'm going to put the map up here. Let's see how quickly and quietly we can get to our spots. Now, one more thing. How are we supposed to be sitting when we partner read? Knee to knee. Knee to knee. Very good. Some of you guys still forget that. All right, quietly go get your reader and go to your spot. Caitlin, you're with Natalie and Easton. Quickly and quietly. This group over here, and you're not where I can't see you. You have to be out here where I can see you. Give me that. All right, so up here, I need Emily and KDA with KDW. Let me see my partners that are knee to knee. Yeah, I know. And they're got tables. What are you talking about? They're at the table. Yeah, you're at the table. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see who's knee to knee. Oh, great job, Alyssa and Xavier. You are opening up to your table of contents and looking for the Soccer Twins Part 2. So find that in your table of contents and then start reading. All right, Katie, you're in the middle there. All right, girls, so go ahead and find in your table of contents the Soccer Twins Part 2. Mm -hmm. And then when you have that, you can kind of mark it with your pencil and then scoot it out of the way.
Yes, part two. All right, so we're not ready to start yet, so turn your books over. Did you look at your table of contents to see what page? What page did it say? It said 84. Part two, 84. 48. So there we go. All right, before we start, who can tell me what sounds did I tell you Ed can make? KDW's crying and we don't know why we Ed. didn't do anything to her. Ed. 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 Just go read with her, she'll be all right, I'll be watching. Ed, Ed what else? D. D, what else? T. Good, so Ed, D, T. All right, I'm gonna say this sound and I want you girls to repeat it after me. D. D. Ed. Ed. Those are all sounds ED can make. Who can tell me a word ending with the ED sound? Who knows a word that ends with ED? It can be any of those sounds. Any of those three sounds, just a word that ends with ED. Ariella? Played. Played. What sound do you hear at the end of played? Good. Who can tell me another one? Amara? Played. Well, played, the ED at the end of played, it says D. It doesn't say T. Well, that one in an ED. That would just be like a plate you eat on. So that doesn't have the ED ending. Holly, can you think of a word that ends with the ED? You can make any of those sounds, just a word that ends in ED. Made. Well, made is a magic E word, so it doesn't end in ED. What word, what if you said the bunny what? The bunny what? What? Hopped. Hopped. What does the ED say at the end of that word? T -t -t Hopped. Everybody say that word. Hopped. All right, Amara, can you think of an ED word? What if I say jumped? Good. What do you hear at the end of jumped? <coughs> Very good. So those are all words that end in ED, and we can remember it can say three different sounds. So I'm going to write some words, and I want you girls to read them for me. I'm going to go around the table. Me and Dad are, are I'm never been at the table. Yeah, this weather's rough. I've been at the table before a bunch of times. All right, Amara? Hug. All right, what does the ED say in hug? Very good. Holly? Baked. Baked. What does the ED say in baked? Very good. Ariella? Rusted. What does the ED say in rusted? Ed. Ed. Very good. All right, I'm going to give you girls a whiteboard and a marker, and I'm going to give you some words I want you to spell. Hold it up when you have it. All right, first word I want you to write is saved. Saved. You're missing a sound? Saved. Holly's got it. Ariella's got it. Amara's got it. Good. So let's look at this word. What's the first sound you hear? So what's next? Hey. Hey. What's next? And what do we hear at the end? D. But what letters say the D sound? E D. E D. All right, very good. Next word I want you girls to spell: melted. Melted. This is a reminder to 
check your one and a half voice level. Easton's group, this is a reminder to check your one and a half voice level. You have an extra T you don't need. Holly? You're missing one sound. I just put one T. Or you're extra L, I'm sorry. All right, let's sound this out. What's the first sound? And what letters say the ed sound? E-D. E-D. All right, we're going to do one more. Dumped. 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 That has a buh. You've got one extra letter. Well, you girls just read. Just do the best you can. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, well, you girls just read the best you can. Oh, uh, not quite. Holly's got it. Amara, you're missing one sound. Ariella, I said dumped. That looks like it says donned. See what you can change to make it say dumped. Dumped. Got it? All right, let's sound it out. What's the first sound? What's the next sound? Hold on, we're missing a sound. Dumb. Then what? And how do we spell the t? E D. E D. Very good. All right, you girls can erase your boards. I put them all in line. And just kind of set them out of your way. Put the mark. And we're gonna read some sections from our story. And while we're reading, I want you girls to look for E D words. So go ahead and hand me your whiteboards and your markers and get your story opened up. And while you're reading, I want you to look for any words that have an ED in them. So make sure you're tracking while other people at the table are reading. Kaden, check your voice level, please. All right, Amara, you are going to start with the title and you're going to keep reading until I tell you to stop. The Stop the Twins Part 2 list and Fast Land to play in their big game. They were dogs and princess. Turn the leash. Hop, Check hopping. Uh, look at that word again. Hop. Not hopping. Hoping. Good. She could play. Play as well. Princess, a princess, and he bought her to sit. Down. To sit where? Sit side up. on the. the on the side. Side what? Lens. Not lens. Sidelines. Amara, look at that page and see if you see an ED word. Kaden, bring your worksheet and come sit at my table with me. Very good. So, petted. What sound do you hear at the end of petted? Pet ed. Very good. And what letters spell the ed sound? ED. Yes. Have a seat right here, Kaden, and work on your worksheet. All right, Holly, go ahead and read until I tell you to stop on the next page. Now, hold on, let's look back at this first page. Did we have a photo caption? Yes. yes. Did, did we have a photo caption? No. No. All right, on to the next page. I need my girls in the front to sit up and read. Work. All right, Holly, go ahead. Here in the United 
gates, but outside of the United States, they say football. The name of the name football may make a lot of sense. Sense, sense. The players use their feet to kick the ball. <coughs> the goalkeeper can use their hands to use their hands. Use her hands. Good. So you're right here. Stop. Stop. Track with your finger while you read. The ball. But the rest of the players can't use their hands. But they may. But may be. An even better name would be football. Not football. After you. Look at that sound in this word. Eat ball. Eat ball. After all three years, both feet, soccer, football, or feet ball. Which name would you think is best? All right, my groups that are still reading, I'm hearing a lot more talking than reading. Make sure you're in your spot and you're reading the story or there's going to be consequences. Girls, quit leaning up, back against it. Sit knee to knee and read your story. All right, Holly, look for an ED word in that section you just read. Read McCaitlin's page for her, just have her follow along. Look for an ED word. Look at the first couple sentences you read, Holly. So look out there at the top. Do you see an ED word? What? Looked and played. Looked and played. So Holly, what does ED say in looked? Looked. What does ED say in played? Very good. All right, played. Go ahead and read the next section, Ariella. Hold on just a minute. Pause, Ariella. Uh, I'm about to send my groups in the floor back to their seats to read alone. This is your last warning. Thank you to my groups that are finished and you've gone back to your seat to work on your worksheet. Yes, ma'am. All right, go ahead, Ariella. Hold on, look at that word. She kicked the ball. How? Hold on, not bouncing. Think about what we've been talking about, about the ED. Very good. So, Ariel, let's talk about that word you read, bounced. What does the ED say in bounced? Bounced. Bounce. Alright, so is it bounce ed? No, and I like how you corrected yourself on that one. Alright, let's all uh, read this last paragraph on this page together. Put your fingers under pat. And we're going to choral read them. Alright, we're over here. Alright, all together. Pat played well too. She had to block two shots by the Dickens players. She knocked one out of bounds and grabbed one with her mitts. Can I 
I read this? All right, I'm going to read this page, but I'm going to leave some words out. So be sure you're listening, and you can read any words I leave blank. So be sure you're tracking with me. What? I'm sorry. We're going back to your seat and get to work, okay? You're fine. And are you supposed to be coming over here right now? Go to your spot. All right, so listen for any words I leave out. Both teams had shots on goal, but for a long time, there was no scores. Not scores. Scoring. Thank you, Amara. The clock down. It started to look like the game would end in a 0 0 tie. Then Les got the ball. She passed to a teammate. The thank you, Holly. Teammate ran a bit and then passed the ball back to Les. Les took a shot. The ball went zipping past the Dickens goalkeeper, goalkeeper and into the net. All right, if you're in my group that's still on the floor, you're going to go back and finish that at your seats because you're not sitting the correct way. Goal. The Clark Bees ran and jumped on top of Les. Clark was in the lead, but there was still time left in the game. The Dickens players got the ball back. Kaden, are you working? Write synonyms. They ran and passed the ball. A Dickens player took a shot, but Pat grabbed, thank you, Amara, grabbed it. Just then, the horn went off. off. The game was over. The Clark Bees were the winners. They were the state soccer champs. Champs. Very good. All right, so to finish up, I'm going to have each of you girls read one ED word for me. What is this holy? Here's a picture of it. Mm -hmm. so on this one. That's all right. All right, Amara, read this word for me. Fate. Fate. And what sound do you hear at the end of fate? Very good. Enjoy. What means the same thing as enjoy? Think. Uh, you tell me. What something that means the same thing as enjoy? You tell me what you think. Write it down. All right. Next word. It's going to be for Holly. Light. Light. What do you hear at the end of light? Very good. And next, last word will be for Ariella. Wished. What do you hear at the end of wished? Wished. All right. Very good. You girls go put your readers up for me. Go put them in the back window. Nice and neat. Kaden, you going back to your seat for me? All right, I need eyes up here. So let's talk about how our partner reading went today. I saw some groups that did exactly what I asked. They read together, they came back to their seat, and they started their worksheet. I saw some groups that were being goofy, that were laying down in the floor. Does that meet my expectations for partner reading? No. Are you supposed to come to my table? No. Not unless there's an emergency. So let's make sure next time every single group is following all of those rules. All right, pause what you're working on on your desk. Scoot out of the way for just a minute. I'm going to have Amara and Marcel come join us. Marcel, take your hood down for me, please. All right, so let's talk about some questions about the Soccer Twins Part 2. Raise your hand if you would like to answer. Why do people outside of the U.S. call soccer football? Why do people that don't live in the United States, why do they call soccer football? Easton? Because you use your feet to kick the ball. Perfect. And you the feet, you can't use your hands. So that's probably why they call it football. Yes, they call it football because they use their feet to play, just like it told us in our story today. Which team won the soccer match? Is Xavier the only one who can answer? Which team won the soccer match? Ariella? 
so which team won? Was it the girls' team? Let's see. Let's look. Let's look and see if Ariella was correct. So I'm going to get my reader, and we're going to look back. All right, so let's check. We're, I'm going to read from the text, and we're going to see if Ariella was correct. I want you to give a thumbs up if she was, a thumbs down if she was not. The Clark Bees were the winners. They were the state soccer champs. So I should see a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Where's your thumbs? Where's your thumbs? Very good, Ariella. We all agree with you that they were the winner. All right, let's look at our chart. Who can tell me something that they learned about soccer from our story today? What is something that you learned about soccer from our story today, Xavier? Okay, you score points. Anybody else? All right, who else can share? Easton? Oh, so soccer can be called football. That's a really good fact we learn. from this reader that we may not have known about soccer before. So hands down for me. All right, so for the most part, good job today. Uh, next time we're gonna work a little bit better on meeting our expectations for partner work. But other than that, you did a good job this morning. Everybody give yourself a pat on the back for working hard. I want you to leave those sheets on your desk. If you haven't, put your reader in the back window. Make sure it's in a nice, neat stack for me. And then I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do next.